Hey guys, it is the 29th of April. My name is Jess McDonnell and you're watching GameSpot News. Also, there are deers on my shirt. Deers? Deer. Deers? First up, Microsoft are promising that their TV push won't impact on their gamer first approach to Xbox One. Xbox exec Jordan Levin has said that it's probably worth saying that none of the activity we're pursuing is coming at the expense of any of the investment that's been made in the platform overall or gaming overall. Exec Nancy Tallum has explained that the TV efforts are basically to keep users entertained between big game launches. Let me know if you're keen for Xbox Live TV or not. Next up, all the juicy content from the Watch Dogs Season Pass has been unveiled and here's what you can expect. Within the new single player content, players will embody the role of T-Bone, who is apparently a brilliant but eccentric hacker who lives by his own rules, and not the rapper by the same name. As if anybody's really that surprised as a rapper named T-Bone. Extra content includes a mode called Digital Trip, which will have you hunting cyborgs for some totally unknown reason, and you'll get a bunch of other weapons, outfits, missions, and whatnot. Drive Club has had another delay, but it's also got a new director, so I'll leave you to be excited, disappointed, or apathetic accordingly. Evolution Studios dev Paul Rostinski, who was previously game director on Motorstorm RC, will be heading up the game, which is now set to debut on October 7. That may be a somewhat familiar date, since it's the same day as the releases of Dragon Age Inquisition, Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, and Alien Isolation. This has now pushed the game back almost a full year, but PlayStation's Shuhei Yoshida is promising that the innovative, socially connected racing game is totally worth it. And finally, let's revisit one of our favorite stories from the last 224 days. When on earth is GTA 5 coming to PC? The Change.org petition to bring the game across from consoles now has over 700,000 signatures, and the time between GTA 5's console release and hypothetical PC release is now even longer than it took for GTA 4 to make its way over. A number of rumors are suggesting that we'll get a PC version sometime this year, but none of these reports have been confirmed just yet. Do you believe in GTA 5 coming to PC and would you buy it on the platform? You can let me know your thoughts in that commenting section down below or on my Twitter where I'm at Jess McDonald. Those are all the things I want to tell you about today. Now please excuse me while I go create multiple aliases to sign that GTA 5 on PC petition. I'll see you tomorrow.